Number 10. The Zombie Doll First, the Cadillacs married a zombie on September 15, 2018. This zombie is not exactly what you might be thinking. It's not a man who's been reanimated from the grave, but instead an inanimate doll, which might be worse. It's a creepy zombie doll, something you'd see set up on a lawn or on somebody's front step for Halloween. Felicity is from Massachusetts, and she was 20 years old when she married the zombie doll. She says the doll's name is Kelly Rossi and that she's 37 years old. And believe it or not, Felicity has quite a few other dolls in her collection too. In fact, eight of them attended the viral ceremony, which she had in Rhode Island for about $500. That was mostly just to cover her wedding dress and a tuxedo for the zombie. Now, when I say a zombie doll, that's exactly what it is. It's missing part of its face. It's smeared with fake blood all over its body, and it looks downright terrifying to most people. Felicity married the thing because she said it made her feel closer to it and more intimate. She went on to say, and this might be a little bit of a TMI situation, that after the ceremony, she promptly consummated the marriage. How that worked out, we don't know, and we'd rather not ask. Number 9. Man and Smartphone Aaron Chervenak, a 34-year-old man from Los Angeles, took part in a bizarre ceremony in Las Vegas back in 2016. Aaron married his smartphone. He traveled all the way to Sin City, booked himself some time at the Little Vegas Chapel and married his phone. But this had nothing to do with love. The man wasn't romantically involved with his device. Instead, Aaron said he was trying to make a point about the growing attachment society has to their phones and how hopelessly we rely on them. Aaron said that the way we use our cell phones to calm us, to lull us to sleep, and to ease our minds is basically like a relationship, a toxic one at that. So he took it one step further and tied the knot with his device. In a way, Aaron said his smartphone had already been his longest relationship. You might think it would be difficult to set up a wedding between a man and a phone, but it was actually pretty easy. Once Aaron got to Vegas, he contacted the chapel, explained his situation, and they were thrilled to host the event, probably for the press attention. Aaron showed up in a bubblegum pink car, dressed in a snazzy suit, his iPhone dressed in a sleek white case. There were some guests, a brief ceremony, and the two were wed, simple as that. But Aaron didn't actually kiss his smartphone at the altar, and the marriage was never officially recognized by the state of Nevada. Number 8. Woman and Dog A woman named Elizabeth Hode married her golden retriever in 2019 at the ripe age of 49. According to her, she didn't need a man in her life and was much happier spending the rest of her time on this earth with her dog, Logan. So she married her furry companion on live TV on the British talk show The Morning. Elizabeth had actually tried to find love before marrying her dog. She claims to have gone on over 200 dates, but just couldn't find the right man for her. So in the end, she gave up on dating, on ever meeting a man, and chose to commit herself to her four-legged friend. What might surprise you is that Elizabeth was actually a swimsuit model and objectively pretty good looking. She had even been in relationships with sports stars like James Hunt, the Formula One race car driver, and Steve Ballesteros, the famous golfer. She had a 25-year-old son at the time of the wedding, so it's not like she was out of options. Elizabeth just prefers the company of her dog, and now the two are happily married. Number 7. Marriage at a Funeral In Thailand back in 2016, a woman got married at a funeral. Her name is Nan Tiparat, and this was by far one of the strangest ceremonies we've ever heard of. Nan's lover died suddenly after a heart attack, leaving Nan an emotional wreck. She had always dreamt of their wedding day, and they had planned on holding hands for the rest of their lives. And then, all of a sudden, her fiancé Fiat's heart gave out, and he was dead just like that. It was an especially big shock, since he hadn't shown any signs of illness before the heart attack. There weren't any plans in place. It was all very sudden and unexpected. But Nan wasn't ready to give up on her love just yet. So, at his funeral, she showed up in a wedding dress and had an unofficial ceremony while her fiancé's dead body lay on a table 
covered in a pink blanket with teddy bears on it. The wedding was not officially recognized by the Thai government, but at least Nan finally got the union she wanted so badly, even if it was with a corpse. And in any case, she called it more of a tribute than the real deal. Because according to Nan, she knows both of them would be together for eternity in the next life. She just wanted to make the wedding official in her own heart before burying her lover. Number 6. The Woman and Her Cats In 2014, Barbarella Bushner celebrated her 10th wedding anniversary. She had been married for nearly a decade to a pair of cats. And according to Barbarella, she's over the moon with joy. It all started when Barbarella and her partner split after they'd been together for seven years. The 48-year-old never thought she would make a real connection or find love ever again. But then came the cats, and love entered her life in a much different way than she'd expected. Ten years after she married her feline husbands, Spider and Lugosi, Barbarella was feeling happier than ever. Barbarella is originally from London, but last we heard, she was living in the Canary Islands, working as a web designer. She said that whenever she'd been in a relationship with a human, it always ended up a huge mess. There would be arguments, unwanted chatting, and just stress in general. But now that she's been married to her cats for so long, she's realized how unnecessary human relationships are. Her cats don't argue with her, she doesn't have to listen to them complain, and they're all very happy together. As for the details of the wedding, that's a bit complicated. Three years after she adopted the cats, Barbarella married them on a website and officially tied the knot on January 9, 2004. She got a certificate of marriage, but it's not any kind of officially legal document. Ever since the marriage, she's had to deal with people calling her names too. Some say she's a polygamist since she married two cats instead of one, and some have even called her incestuous since the cats are technically brothers. As long as she's happy though, right? Number 5. The Superfan Ollie London is a K-pop superfan, and when we say super, we mean it. The 29-year-old London native is what you might call obsessed with the Korean performer Park Jimin. He spent over $150,000 on plastic surgery to look more like the popular BTS singer, and finally pushed things as far as they could go by marrying a cardboard cutout of Jimin back in 2020. Ollie London traveled all the way from Britain with a fully sized cardboard cutout of his idol to Las Vegas. Then, in an emotional ceremony, the British man married a piece of cardboard in front of an Elvis Presley impersonator at the Viva Las Vegas wedding chapel. It doesn't get any weirder than that. Following the ceremony, Ollie said it was the happiest day of his life, but he admitted he's not sure what he's going to do next. Still, he's happy to be officially married to his idol even if it's only a cutout that looks like Jimin. And by the way, Ollie says he is a monogamist and is strictly loyal to his relationship. He also has no plans of finding a real human being to be with, supposedly for the rest of his life. Number 4. The Kazakh Love Doll Yuri Tolochko is a man from Kazakhstan that considers himself to be an athlete and blogger. He also just happens to be intimately involved with Margot, his girlfriend. He proposed to her in December 2019, and surprise surprise, she said yes. Although, to be completely fair, it was Yuri who said yes for her, since Margot isn't your average kind of girl. She doesn't have a working mouth, a voice box, or even a heartbeat. Margot is what you'd call a love doll, a life-size doll woman made of skin-like material that's almost as close as you can get to the real thing. Yuri and Margot are also somewhat famous and have a good following online. Ever since they started their relationship, Yuri has posted photos and videos of the love story for his 40,000 followers on Instagram. And that's not all he posts either. He also shares the explicit pictures and videos of what he and Margot get up to behind closed doors. After the proposal in 2019, the pandemic hit worldwide and the young couple's wedding plans were ruined. The ceremony had to be postponed for months and months and it wasn't until late 2020 that they could finally tie the knot like Yuri had been looking forward to. He says Margot has a tender soul inside her synthetic gelatin body, and they're looking forward to a long, happy life together. Number 3. 
hologram bride. A man in Japan vowed to never fall in love with a real, living, breathing woman. His name is Akihiko Kondo, a school administrator in his 30s, who recently married a hologram, pledging his undying allegiance to her. She's an anime hologram of a popular virtual singer named Hatsune Miku, and according to what Kondo told local news, he's never cheated on her in his entire life and has only ever been in love with the holographic woman. But things get a little dark once we dig deeper. Kondo says his holographic wife is modeled after a girl that's only 16 years old, even if she is an anime character. In fact, that's part of the appeal for him. Because she's a hologram, his wife will never grow old. Still, it's a bit creepy. In case you haven't heard of hologram singers, they're actually extremely popular and called Vocaloids. Akihiko's hologram wife recently sold out 3D concerts all over Asia and even one in New York City back in 2016. Kondo interacts with his hologram through an extremely expensive desktop that costs about $3,000. She appears in the center of a tube-like compartment where she moves around and speaks. But the real expense was the pair's wedding. Kondo dropped an astounding $17,600 on a very realistic ceremony. Since he couldn't bring his desktop device, he had a large doll of Miku instead, with a wedding ring he stuck to a wrist. The marriage certificate was issued by the company that produced the hologram, although they had to warn Kondo that the relationship wouldn't be recognized by any kind of government. If this strange wedding came as a shock to you, you'll be shocked to know that these hologram makers have issued nearly 3,700 certificates to other people just like Kondo. Number 2. Marrying Yourself Brazilian model Chris Galera was married in September 2021, but less than a year later, she decided it was time to get a divorce. What makes this whole situation strange is that the model was married to herself. Just 90 days after marrying herself, she decided to divorce herself. She says she doesn't want to be tied down to anyone, even the person in the mirror, since she met somebody new. The desire to only be with yourself is something known as sologamy. Chris Galera, at 33 years old, made the choice to be with nobody but herself for the rest of time. Until she changed her mind, that is. She made headlines in Brazil after showing up to her wedding in the front of a Catholic church in Sao Paulo, where no groom ever turned up. Chris said that over those 90 days, she was happy while it lasted. But in that time of the marriage, Chris claims to have matured. She realized just how strong and determined she is as a woman, and that it's okay if she wants to be with someone while still loving herself. It might be important to know at this point that Chris is extremely famous and well-known. She does nude shoots for Playboy. She has hundreds of thousands of followers on Instagram and has gotten quite a bit of attention online for marrying herself. Number 1. Triplets a Congolese man married a set of triplets. According to the reports coming out of the Democratic Republic of Congo, all three of the triplets proposed to him at the same time, and he agreed with an instant yes. This rather strange wedding took place in South Kivu, and you'll never believe the story leading up to the union of these four individuals. It all began when Luizo met one of the triplets, a woman named Natalie. The pair quickly fell in love. But when Luisa was introduced to her twin sisters, things started getting weird. He immediately fell for the sisters as well, and they took quite a liking to him too. Rather than each of them finding their own man, they decided it would be easier if all three just married the same guy. The sisters had been close their whole lives, and this just seemed like a natural thing for them to do. When they proposed to Luisa, he said he was shocked and excited. But since he had fallen in love with the girls and the three had fallen in love with him, there was nothing that could stop them from being together. Still, it's not all good. For one thing, Luisa's parents disagreed with the marriage and didn't even come to watch the ceremony. Would you rather spend the rest of your life married to a hologram or one of your pets? Let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching today.